When we think of glass, we often imagine something fragile, maybe a window pane, a drinking glass, or a mirror. In the world of architecture and engineering, glass is far more than just a transparent surface to see through. In fact, modern glass technology has allowed this seemingly delicate material to evolve into a key structural element in buildings around the world. But how exactly is this transformation possible? In this video, we'll explore how glass is used structurally, the science behind it, and why it's redefining the future of design and construction, right here on History of Simple Things. Structural glass is exactly what it sounds like. Glass that is used not just for its visual or insulating properties, but as a load-bearing component in a structure. Unlike traditional glass used for windows, structural glass can support its own weight and the weight of other components, resist wind pressures, carry live loads, and withstand structural forces. It functions much like steel or concrete, but with the added feature of transparency. What makes this possible is the evolution of glass technology, particularly the development of tempered and laminated glass, which dramatically increase strength and safety. Tempered glass is made by heating ordinary glass to high temperatures and then rapidly cooling it, a process that induces internal stresses. This makes it up to five times stronger than standard annealed glass. Laminated glass, on the other hand, consists of two or more layers of glass bonded together with a plastic interlayer, typically polyvinyl butyrol. This interlayer holds the glass together even when shattered, preventing collapse or dangerous shards. When used together, tempered and laminated, glass becomes not just safer, but structurally viable for demanding architectural applications. There are several ways glass is used structurally. One of the most common applications is in curtain walls, which are non-load-bearing outer coverings of buildings that hang like a curtain. However, in high-tech architecture, glass curtain walls can be fully structural, supported by glass mullions or spider fittings that eliminate the need for metal framing. These systems use laminated glass panels and point-fixed connectors to transfer loads through the glass itself allowing for uninterrupted transparency and a seamless appearance. Another example is glass fins, which are vertical or horizontal strips of thick laminated glass that act like beams or columns to support larger glass panels. They serve the same structural purpose as steel or aluminum mullions, but are made of glass, maintaining visual continuity while providing necessary rigidity. Glass floors, staircases, bridges, and balustrades are also becoming popular in modern architecture. These require careful engineering to manage the loads and vibrations that occur during use, but when done correctly, they offer an incredibly dramatic open aesthetic. The use of glass as a structural material offers multiple advantages. First and foremost, it allows for transparency and natural light, a key component of biophilic and sustainable design. Structures made with glass can maximize daylight, reducing the need for artificial lighting and improving the well-being of occupants. This visual openness also enhances the connection between indoor and outdoor spaces, making buildings feel lighter, more integrated with their surroundings, and more modern in appearance. Glass also offers design flexibility. With innovations like curved glass, insulated glazing units, and coatings that enhance energy efficiency, architects can push creative boundaries. Glass can be engineered to be fire-resistant, insulated, self-cleaning, and even dynamic, with technologies like electrochromic or liquid crystal glass that change transparency at the touch of a button. Structurally, Glass can be shaped, strengthened, and combined in various ways to meet the unique demands of different projects, 
whether it's a towering skyscraper or a minimalist glass box home. Some of the most iconic buildings in the world showcase the power of structural glass. The Apple stores, for example, are famous for their massive glass staircases and cube entrances, all made of laminated glass panels held together with minimal hardware. The Grand Canyon Skywalk is another striking example, a glass-floored bridge that juts out over a 4,000-foot drop, requiring extreme engineering precision to ensure both strength and visitor safety. In London, the Crystal Palace was one of the first major examples of glass in architecture, though not fully structural. More recent projects like the Kanagawa Institute of Technology workshop in Japan use glass walls and partitions to blur the boundaries between structure and skin, merging interior and exterior into one coherent whole. Looking ahead, the future of structural glass is extremely promising. New fabrication techniques, such as 3D printing and robotic glass bending, are opening up possibilities for complex shapes and organic forms that were once impossible. Researchers are also experimenting with glass composites and smart glass systems that adapt to environmental conditions, offering new levels of performance and interactivity. Sustainability is also driving innovation. Recycled glass content, improved thermal performance and integration with photovoltaic technologies are helping glass become not only beautiful and strong, but also energy efficient and environmentally responsible. The use of glass as a structural material is one of the most exciting developments in modern architecture and engineering. Its evolution from a fragile barrier to a load-bearing, design-defining element showcases the incredible synergy between science, art, and technology. With continued innovation and smart design, structural glass allows us to build brighter, lighter, and more sustainable spaces, structures that aren't just functional, but truly inspiring. So next time you walk through a glass bridge or look up at a skyscraper's shimmering facade, remember, that isn't just glass, it's architecture made transparent. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.